Well, if we can put today's weather behind us, the coming yes. week looks like it's going to be a lot better for running. Especially Friday. Yeah. Even though it's a little rainy, right, sir? 50? Yeah. 60? Yeah, I know. I, you think about the warmth, but it does come with some showers. Yeah, close to 60 in spots. But sure enough, I mean, hard to think about that after we saw such wintry weather this morning. Uh, anywhere from a coating to an inch, mainly south of the city. Although just south of the city, there was about an inch, inch and a half. And then you got plus two as you traveled north and west, where it was a little bit colder longer, and into parts of New Hampshire. Are picking up just over three inches of snow. So, Boston, Logan reported just under an inch of snow. We're still working on some of the details, the final reports from the National Weather Service. But so far, we're still below average for the season in Boston, but still only about by. 10 inches or so. Worcester coming in uh, with a, just over an inch and a half of snow from today. And typically we see about 61 inches, only 48.5. But you know what? We've got some drier weather heading our way. Actually, we've got a little bit milder air, too. You can see here this system that's going to continue to pull away, but we still have a lot of clouds around, some drizzle. And sure enough, temperatures inland close to that freezing mark. We'll have to watch for some icy spots that could develop as we go through the overnight hours. But it's in the 40s across the southeast. Very mild air along the immediate coast. And you can see the areas of fog that have developed as we've got visibility under a mile in places like Beverly, up through Lawrence, down in Taunton, even Plymouth and on the Cape in places like Hyannis. So just take it easy if you're going to be traveling. Down across the Cape and Islands, also seeing those wind gusts over 20 miles per hour. And those winds will be active as we go through the overnight and into tomorrow as well. Expect to see some gusts uh, ranging around 20 to even 30 miles per hour. But as those winds will be gusty, they'll be turning out of the northwest. So over Overnight tonight, we're going to fall back mainly into the 30s. Inland spots, that's where we could see some potential icy spots on those untreated surfaces. Take it easy for the morning commute, but I do expect most of Metro West, as the Metro Boston area down across the southeast, will be above freezing, so there shouldn't be any problems. As you head to work and school, remember that sunrise now at 7.03. We'll finally be able to see the sunset today. Those clouds definitely uh, didn't allow for that at 6.46. And we're looking at temperatures climbing into the 40s with mostly sunny skies. So it should be a pretty decent afternoon, although we'll see some more clouds the further north and west you go. But temperatures will be soaring close to 50 in some spots, well above the average. Unfortunately, we do have some cooler weather that will follow for Tuesday, but still not too bad. We're going to stay above freezing. Then we're going to see that slow climb back up late in the week. And yes, that's where we could get close to 60 degrees. A kink in the jet stream will continue to lift to the north and will ridge right over the eastern seaboard. And sure enough, that's going to allow for that mild air to come on in late in the week. But notice the jet stream, too. Typically, a lot of active weather can ride along that jet stream. And that's what we'll be watching for for late in the week as our next Next chance of some showers. So mostly dry as we head through the day tomorrow into Tuesday. Can't rule out a few snowflakes across northern New England tomorrow, but the winds will be active all the way through Tuesday. I'm expecting to see some gusts, although they'll be a little bit lighter, still active out there Tuesday afternoon with mostly sunny skies. High pressure then continues to hold on to the sunshine and dry conditions for our Wednesday, but you can see behind me we do have some wet weather heading our way. Perhaps a few sprinkles early Thursday as a warm front lifts northward. We'll see mostly dry conditions, but the risk of showers does increase as we get into our Friday time frame. So that seven-day forecast does feature the change in temperatures, but really quiet weather for the next several days. It's not until that Thursday, Friday time frame where we'll see the risk of those scattered showers. And once that system comes on through, the temperatures will fall back. But you'll notice they'll stay close, if not just slightly above normal. So a couple things. We have more daylight in the evening and Lovely. warmer temperatures. I feel spring fever coming on this yeah. for a lot of folks. I can't call out the risk of snow, though. Just saying.